thumbs up. Uh, welcome back. Now, I had not, I had not anticipated um, that that this this was going to turn out the way that it did tonight. But all kidding aside, and that was that was cider. I don't, I don't drink. Um, it'd be a bad idea for me to drink in the middle of doing four videos. It'd be a terrible idea. Um, cause it hits me immediately since I'm not, not a drinker right away. It hits me. All right. So the Vegas Golden Knights tonight, um, again, what is it with their shooting percentage in the playoffs? So everybody's going to focus on stone and I'm, I'm not saying that stone wasn't a big difference maker. I still think Vegas wins this game without Mark Stone tonight. I do. I still think they win this without Mark Stone. I think they win this without Will Carrier. I, I think that uh, there were some fundamental errors made by the Dallas Stars tonight. So it was Thompson versus Ottinger. Uh, Steele takes a penalty at 26 seconds. You can't do that. You can't take a penalty less than 30 seconds into the game. Uh, so there's an early clear by Dallas, but then at 123, Stone has one that deflects in. So that was part of the problem. If you're going to have your sticks in the lane, Make sure you're not putting it in your net. Make sure you're not giving it to somebody who's going to put it in the net. Shot block responsibly. Uh, Hannafin and Eichel with the assists at 123. The Stars look to respond. They end up drawing a power play. Ben has a shot that's saved. His next chance is held. Uh, Haskinen then fires one wide. Puck's cleared out. Stars cycles. Cleared again. Killed off. Two shots on net. The shots on net are 3-1 to one for Dallas six minutes in. I mentioned something about the, the shot uh, shooting percentage. Yeah, Vegas has that going for them already. Uh, hurdles denied and close as Vegas presses. Stankoven has a rush chance that's defended. The Stars score, but there's an offside challenge, so I just took the magnet off. I'm like, all right, so no goal. All right, cool. Uh, that was Suitors. Doesn't count. Uh, and then at 8.27, on their third shot and via a turnover, uh, the Vegas Golden Knights make it 2-0. Marcia So from Barbershop. And it felt like this game might be over early. Like, it, it really did. It felt like, okay, so it's 2 nothing Vegas. They've got two goals on three shots. They haven't even started playing really well yet. It's just you get the deflection on the first goal, and then it's a turnover on the second goal. Uh, Vegas presses at 9.5 minutes. The Stars press with 9.5 minutes left. The shots are 6-5 to five for Dallas with 8 minutes left. The Stars press with 7.5 minutes left. And then on a fast break, Jamie Benn goes 5-hole from Johnston. Uh, and that one's at 16.07. And all I could think was, is that play offside? Because it kind of looked a little bit offside to me on the replay, but they didn't challenge it, so I guess not. And I was kind of expecting it. I was like, you know, it'd be the most Dallas Stars thing for another goal to get called back due to offside. Uh, Vegas presses to respond with 2.12 left. Vegas gets a power play and three seconds in. They score on it. At 17.51, it's Hurdle from Hannafin. Uh, really, really not the kind of penalty kill you want from Dallas. Uh, they are not going to last in this series at all if their penalty kill is 0%, which is what it was tonight. Uh, so the Stars look to respond. The fans tell the referee that he sucks. And I'm not saying that, you know, all of his calls were great, but it's the penalty kill that sucked. I understand the confusion, but uh, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't the ref that caused those two power play goals. It was really not great penalty killing. Uh, by the Dallas Stars. Uh, but at 18.29, Robertson scores from Stankoven. So now Stankoven gets on the board with a helper, and I thought he might have been one of the best Stars tonight. Really, two-way forward, he was one of the best ones. Vegas looks to respond. The Stars do press to close it out, but it's 3-2 to two Vegas after one. Second period. Uh, post for Petrangelo on an early chance, and all I can think is, you know, Ottinger, you've got to be better than this. You can't. Uh, and then uh, on a puck that Ottinger never saw, and there, it's a turnover again. Uh, a point shot by McNabb is deflect, or point shot by McNabb deflects in off of a Dallas stick. Uh, Eichel with the assist at 106. So you've got a screen in front. Yep. Um, Dallas player hurting his own goaltender. Yep. This is you can't do this. You can't do this. Like Vegas are the defending Stanley Cup champions. This is the same team they played last year, and I felt like Dallas was going to be just better to start the series. I thought, you know, Dallas has had a really good regular season, really strong run. They're not going to get fooled by Vegas, but here we are, fooled by Vegas. The fans call one. The referee does not. The shots are 2 nothing Vegas at 2.5 minutes. 4.5 minutes in, the Stars still don't have a shot because now that Vegas is up, uh, they've decided... We're just not going to allow shots the rest of the way. And a lot of the shots that Dallas ends up getting are not of the really dangerous variety. 
Uh, Stars get zone time. They're not getting shots. They end up drawing a power play due to the Dallas Stars. Uh, Haskinen has a shot that's blocked and cleared. There's a cycle by Dallas. Uh, it's cleared again. Vegas blocking shots. They kill it off. Uh, things are pushy on a hold by Thompson. Uh, the referee's told that he sucks because of a non-call that was towards the end of that Vegas power play. Um, shots are only 2-1 to one for Vegas at the half. The Stars press with 9.5 minutes left. Robertson looks to bank one in. Uh, Duchesne has a net feed that's blocked. The Stars uh, getting opportunities as Foxa has a net drive that's held. Things get pushy then on a hold by Thompson. Lundquist to Pavelski, there's a near miss there. Vegas just clogging everything in their own zone. Uh, Johnston's denied, the rebounds held. The shots are 7-2 to two for Dallas with four minutes left. Uh, Johnston hits the outside of the net, Vegas rushes, and then Vegas gets some pressure in the final minute. But they're up 4-2 to two after two, and again, Vegas up after two periods. They're, they're pretty good. Playoff Vegas, pretty good. So early press by the Golden Knights in the third. The Stars have a three-on-two. That gets broken up. Uh, the Stars press are kept to the outside. The shots are only one apiece at three and a half minutes. And yeah, I had VGK lead 1-0 uh, when it was 4-2. to two. I will say this, though. There are times where I put that up there, kind of thinking maybe it's a reverse jinx. So anyways, um, I, it's weird. I was going to do a video today on, on all of my little... Um, it, it, little little superstitions, which I, I was talking to my wife about last night, and she laughed really hard at one of my superstitions she didn't know I had. So I thought, okay, I'm going to do that in a video, but not yet. Uh, Dodonov has a wraparound that goes through the crease. Robertson has a net feed that's blocked. And this is where, and, and really throughout tonight's game, I was really aggravated by the announcing. Uh, they weren't talking about the game so much, and sometimes they were talking about other games. And when you get both color announcers kind of taking over during the play, talking about everything, I was like, oh, yeah, at the trade deadline, they did this. And at the trade deadline, so, okay, all right, we know. It's now the playoffs. Why don't we call the action that's going on? So it gets distracting because I've talked about this before. If the announcers sound like they don't care what's happening on the ice, it's going to pull you out of the action. It's going to pull you out of the game. And I... I have said before, I'm not a huge fan of the three-person back and forth. When you have two color announcers and one play-by-play -play announcer, you can end up with that where the two color announcers are talking to one another, and then they're not calling the action. So, um, And then, yeah, then they were talking over the play about the Canes game. They were talking about the Islanders now. They lost the 3-0 lead, and I'm like, I know. I kept saying the TV, I kept saying, I, I watched that. Can we talk about this game, please? Uh, so the shots are three apiece at eight and a half minutes. Vegas was in shutdown mode up by two. Stars have a three on two that goes offside. The Stars argued it wasn't offside. They kept showing replays that maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. And all I can think is, look, we know linesmen have a really difficult job. There are going to be times they call an offside that isn't. There are also going to be times where a play's offside that they don't call. That's why we have so many goals that come back for offsides. I do not envy their job. So it, was it offside? It, it's not a big deal. It's, it's an offside. Uh, but then from a distance, and this this one this one was an oof goal for Logan Thompson. Uh, at 11.46, Marchman scores from Haskin and an Ottinger. Uh, then the fans call one, the referee doesn't. Uh, Vegas has a 2-1-1, that's defended. The Stars press with five minutes left. Stone back checking pretty well, playing well at both ends of the ice tonight. Uh, Howden can't bury one in close as Vegas presses. Sagan has a rush chance that's saved. The goalie pull happens with 2.29 left. Uh, Pavelski then has a chance that's held. Robertson has a shot that deflects out with 120 left. Vegas calls a timeout. Uh, there's an icing with 111 left, another icing with 58.6 seconds left, and a neutral zone faceoff with 42.1 seconds left. Dallas just couldn't couldn't generate anything uh, at the net, and so Vegas holds on. They win this one 4-3. Uh, so the shots on net, 11-8 Dallas in the first, 9-3 Dallas in the second, 10-4 Dallas in the third. They outplayed Vegas, but... Vegas got those timely goals. And so even though Stars outshoot them 30 to 15, I thought Vegas played a very good game. Power play, really the difference here. Two for two for Vegas, 0 for two for Dallas. Dallas has to flip that script. Uh, hits 55 to 29 for Vegas. Thompson saves 27 out of 30 in Ottinger. 11 saves on 15 shots. And yes, there's deflections, there's turnovers, there's everything, but there were times where I was like, you know, we really needed that big save we didn't really get with Otter tonight. So we'll see if he bounces back in the next one, but Ottinger's had trouble with Vegas last season in the playoffs. Maybe that's happening this year too. Maybe we see Wedgwood at some point in the series. We'll find out. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you've not done so already. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.